Hi, Paul Cleary here, Ecosystem Architect of NFI. In a previous video, I talked about what homomorphic encryption is and the different levels that can be achieved, partially homomorphic encryption and somewhat homomorphic encryption versus fully homomorphic encryption, and why companies are becoming more interested in the possibilities for securing processing on encrypted data. In this video, I'd like to focus specifically on where the industry is at in general in terms of making fully homomorphic encryption a reality for organizations that are looking to start exploring implementations. To recap just a little bit, we've been hearing over the past few years that data is the new oil, or data is the oil of the digital economy. And if we take it a little bit further, one could argue that personal data is the most important type of data that there is, because it affects literally every one of us. Even if you have never created a public profile on Facebook, you can be sure that they've got data attached to you as an individual in one form or another. And that's just one example without digressing too far. Now, companies keeping and storing your personal data is not really a new idea, and regulations are in place to ensure that the data stored is done so securely. What is new, though, is a growing need to perform computations and more comprehensive analysis on that data that is stored. Without homomorphic encryption, that data can be decrypted for processing purposes, which is not very secure, or the encryption key can be shared with the tools that perform the processing, also making the entire data pipeline a little bit less secure. The concept of fully homomorphic encryption is the solution to that problem. That is, homomorphic encryption enables processing of encrypted data without the need to decrypt it first. That sounds great. You might be asking yourself, why isn't everybody already doing this? Well, homomorphic encryption is now at an inflection point. Until recently, homomorphic encryption has been so computationally intense that the concept is almost useless in practice. Many organizations have been looking at homomorphic encryption and postponing any efforts to further research because the perception is that it's still far too slow or too costly to implement. Today, the feasibility of homomorphic encryption usage in the organization should be evaluated more on a case-by-case -case basis. If the output of the data to process is not time sensitive, and you can wait maybe a day or so for the results, homomorphic encryption could be an ideal approach because again, it's far more secure than standard encryption. If though, on the other hand, that output is needed in real time or in a few hours as opposed to days, other approaches like multi-threading can be more efficient. The good news is that there are some large players in the industry that are investing a great deal, researching ways that the use of homomorphic encryption can be standardized and the performance can be improved. Intel has partnered with Microsoft as part of a US Defense Advanced Research Project Agency program that aims to develop hardware and software to drastically improve the performance of fully homomorphic encryption computation. I'm not going to get into the specific details here, but I'd encourage you to check out the blog in the video description below for more information on how they're looking at tackling that problem. More good news is that an ISO standard is underway, which once completed and approved, will drastically increase adoption. An established trusted standard means that organizations don't have to reinvent the wheel when it comes to homomorphic encryption techniques and toolkits they're able to innovate using the standard as a baseline, ensuring that their products and services and solutions will be compatible with partner technologies in the expanding ecosystem. Potential customers of these products and solutions are also looking at ISO standards as an indicator of intrinsic trust. I'd encourage you again, have a look at the blog below to get a bit more detail about what's coming in the realm of fully homomorphic encryption and start exploring what's possible with the existing libraries and toolkits available today. Thanks.